Hey folks, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Better Be Home Soon on guitar by Crowded House. This is a great song for beginners to intermediate players to practice. It's not too hard but it does have a few tricky chords and it's just in standard E tuning. First I'll show you how to play each chord, then we'll look at the strumming pattern and then go through the song. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell for songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you're having any problems with the song, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Or if there's a song you'd like to learn, let me know. So now let's jump into the chords we're using. If you already know these chords, skip ahead to this time and start the song. So we're going to have 14 different chords. Let's go through them now. We're going to start with a standard C. So 3rd fret on the A string. And then 2nd fret on the D string. Open G string. 1st fret on the B string and open E string. And that's just our standard. Then we have a C7, so you can hold the C exactly the same and just add your little finger onto the 3rd fret on the G string. And we have a C7 there. We have a C add 9, so all you have to do for that one is take your little finger off, place it on the 3rd fret on the B string. And that's our C add 9 there. Then from there we have an E minor 7 chord. So we have the open E string, 2nd fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D, open G, 3rd fret on the B and open E string. And that's our E minor 7. We have a standard A minor. So we have the open A string this time, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, 1st fret on the B string and open E string at the bottom. And that's just our standard A minor chord. We have an F chord. Now it sounds like he's using the open F chord, not the bar chord there. So we have third fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, and we're barring the first fret on the B and the E. And that's our F. We have an F sus4 chord in there. So you can hold that F shape and just add your little finger onto the third fret on the G string. And we have this F sus4. Now we also have an F sus2 with a major 7th, so that's a little bit easier. We're going to play the 3rd fret on the D string, an open G string, the 1st fret on the B string, and an open E string. So that's our F sus2 with a major 7. We have a standard G chord, so 3rd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string, open D and G. 3rd fret on the B string and 3rd fret on the E string. That's just a standard G chord. Then from there we have a G6 over B. And this is a fairly easy chord to do. We're going to play from the A string down to so 2nd fret on the A string. We have an open D and an open G. The 3rd fret on the B string and an open E string there. That's our G6 over B. Then we have a standard B flat bar chord. So we're going to bar the A string on the first fret. Then we're going to have the third fret on the D, G, and B, and the first fret on the E string. And that's our standard B flat bar chord. We have an A7 chord, so we have the open A string, second fret on the D, open G. 2nd fret on the B and open E, and that's our A7. We have a standard D chord, so open D string, 2nd fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string, and 2nd fret on the E string, and that's our standard D chord. And then we have a D7, the last chord, so open D string, 2nd fret on the G string, 1st fret this time on the B string, and 2nd fret on the E string. So probably the hardest chord out of all of them is probably our B flat. The others have some long names, but they're not too hard to play. So now let's have a look at the strumming pattern and the song. So for the intro of the song, we're just playing the C chord, and then we're going to add the C add 9 in there. Now the strumming pattern is different for these first two bars than what it is for the rest of the song. It's a pretty standard strumming pattern once we get going. It's just this first intro that's a little bit tricky. So let's go over the strumming pattern for that now. I'll play it for you 
then we'll break it down. So we're starting on the C chord, and the first strum we're going to do, we're just going to hit the root note, so we're just hitting the A string. Then we're going to hit all the strings after that, so we'll accept the top E, so we have down, down, and then we're going to do an up, down, down, so. And that's just on our C, so nice and slow. up the speed. Then we're going to do two more downs but we're just playing the A and the D string. Then another down we're going to hit all the strings. So that next part. And then we'll do an up, down, down. And then we're going to add the C, add nine in. So we're adding our little finger, do two more downs and a down up, sorry, one down and a down up. So let me do that whole part slowly for you. It's a little confusing the strumming pattern he's using. So down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And again, down, time up to speed. So the strumming pattern he uses for the rest of the song is different to the intro strumming. We're going to do one down and that's just going to be using the bass string. So just play the A and the D string. So then we do a full down and then an up, down, up and then just hit the bass strings on the next down and then another down, down, up. So slowly. And again there, nice and slow. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And up to speed. So that strumming pattern stays the same throughout the song. The only thing that will change a little bit is our root note. So whenever we're playing a C or our A minor, it's on the A string. Whenever we're playing our E minor 7, it'll be on our E string. And our F will be on the D string, just that first strum and the strum in the middle there. So let's do that one more time. And again. And that's our strumming pattern. So let's jump into our verse now. We've done the intro with a different strumming pattern. So our first verse, we just start on C with our strumming pattern. A minor, same strumming pattern. So they're both a bar and then our E minor 7 for a bar. Then we're going to the G, we're not just going to strum this, we're going to play the 3rd fret on the E string, the open G string, and then we'll do a down, down, up on the 3rd fret on the B and the E, and it doesn't matter if you play the G string there as well, down, down, up, so, so playing that slowly, and up to speed, and then we're going to our F sus2, with the major seven, and we're gonna play the third fret on the D string, the open G string, and then the open E string. So let me play that first part of the verse for you so you can hear how it's gonna sound. Now we go back to the C, same strumming pattern again, one bar. A minor again, one bar, same strumming pattern. E minor seven again, one bar. Then we do that G the same. Now the F is gonna change a little bit here, our F sus two major seven, we're gonna play 
the third fret on the D, the open G, and then we're just going to do a down, down, up on the chord there. So down, down, up. So same as the G, we're just changing to the F for sus2 there. So let's do that slowly, that part. So let me put that verse together for you now so you can hear how that's going to sound. our verse there. Then from there we go into our first chorus. Again, same strumming pattern. We start on the C for a bar. Then we go to our C7, so we're just adding our little finger on the third fret on the G string. That's one bar again. Now we go to the F, and we're going to play it for a bar and a half. Then we're going to add the F sus4 in there. So we have our... Second down, we're adding the F sus4, just playing it once and then taking it off there. So the F. To the G for two bars now. C one bar. And then we're just going to finish on the third fret on the E string there and just play that. So let me play that first chorus for you now. C. C7. The second verse we're just playing the second line of the verse so the C A minor E minor 7 our G we're just playing that through two times and that's our second verse now the second chorus changes a little bit it's only the end part we're going to change so let's have a look at that now so our second chorus all the start stays the same C for a bar C7 for a bar for two bars and adding our sus4 in there. Our G for two bars. Our C for a bar. So you can see it's all the same and now we go to our G6 over B and we do that for a bar. So let me play that chorus for you now. And then from there we're going into our bridge. So then our bridge starts on the B flat for one bar, same strumming pattern again. To D for one bar. To G for one bar. Back to the B flat for one bar. Then to A7 for one bar. Them to D to finish for one bar. So let me play that for you. From there we go to our little instrumental parts, let's run over that now. So this time we're just doing C for a bar, A minor for a bar, E 
label in it for a bar. G for a bar. C for a bar. A minor for a bar. E minor for a bar. F for two bars. B flat for two bars. And on that last B flat, you slide up to the C there. So. And just slide up to a C bar chord there. So same shape, just sliding up to the third fret. And that's our instrumental break there. Then we have our third verse, and he holds that C for two bars, so he just plays it. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do some par muting, so go to the E minor chord. Now we're just playing the E and the A string, and we're going to par mute that for a bar, so we're playing one and two and three and four and G, and we're just par muting that for a bar, so still the E and the A string, one and two and three and and, and then our C for a bar, but now we're playing the A and the D string, par muted. One and two and three and four and the A minor the same. One and two and three and four and back to E minor. One and two and three and four and and the G for a bar. And four and and that's the third verse. Let me play that for you. It finishes on that C. Two. A minor, G, C, A minor, E minor, and G. And that's the third verse there. Then we have the last chorus, and that's a little bit different to the other choruses, so let's go through that now. So same start as before, C for a bar. C7 for a bar, our F for two bars, adding our F sus4, our G for two bars, now go to A minor for a bar, D7 for a bar, F for a bar, and then just finish on the G, drum once and hold for four, three, four, and then just finish on this C chord there, and that's the last chorus, let me play that through for you there. that's the whole song, not too hard, there's a few tricky chords in there, but the strumming pattern's fairly easy, except for that intro which could be a little bit tricky just on the C with the C add 9 there. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.